welcome, I'm Tim and this is Tim BSC and today we are up in the river up in Philadelphia. It's the Betsy Ross Bridge and we've got the uh, Del Air Railroad Bridge on the other side of that. And we're making up to this barge and uh, we're gonna make up to this and get underway. This is not our normal barge so we've got to kind of figure it out as we go. I'm thinking we're going to have a pretty short lead here. Maybe give it a, just a little bit more than that. I'll come ahead on it. So yeah, so you're going to pay it out as he comes ahead. Watch your fingers. A little bit more. Probably, that's probably good, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Now, while Luke and Chris are making up the boat over here checking out the flow scum jet scum on the river so right now that's down river see all the stuff is slowly working its way up the river this way so we have a flood tide we've remade so that we're back in the heavier part of the barge this is kind of what they call a test run so it's just got a little bit on here just want to make sure everything's right before they uh crank up the contract and really get things rolling but we're watching over here and we're seeing the tide come over right in front of the bow over there is some rocks that we can't see but we've been told about that and then right in back of us are some rocks so we need to pull this barge all the way out into the river like this and get it set and then shoot through the bridge get the bridge to open up and be on our way so that's the task at hand Yeah, 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 without a doubt. I'm thinking the more pinch, the better right now too, because of the the barge. No, you got it. I think you, I think you got it. So these barges are traditionally known for not being very kindly as far as uh, moving them around. So this angle right here we call pinch, and the more pinch that uh, loop gets in the makeup the better it might be for us to pull it out you can see we don't have a lot of room behind it where this construction barge is that he's gonna have to pull the thing right out this way so this is an unmanned barge and so the tankermen that are on here have been called in to work on this and uh, they are figuring out where everything is and uh, but like there's a man crew on here in Philadelphia it's common unlike places like New York where they will have the the barge crew uh, the, the barge will be dropped off and there'll be a what we call a shoreside tankerman and he'll, they'll be waiting to pump the barge whether loaded or discharge it wherever they're at and then uh, we move it and in this case we have these tankermen doing this and we're gonna move this product over here like I say this is just a test run this first time so I'll let you know how it goes and, and, and you can put it around the shiv too yeah you know what i mean to, to give yourself a few more feet if you want yeah. to yeah why don't we try that we'll just leave it on the double bit and take a part and put it around that shiv 
Let's just take a part of that line and put it around that shiv, and we'll see how that looks, all right? See, that line goes over to here, so if he, if he, if he doesn't have enough slack in it, what's going to happen is um, that wire will come up. It really has, like, where the tank in is here up to the winch to move. You, you, you're going to put the... That, that's fine, you can do that. Put the top on there. Yep, yep. Now get the bite of the line. Yep, and pull that around to the stern. To the stern. To the stern. There you go. All right, then, then pop that off and bring it to the back one. There you go. Yep. All right, good deal. Okay, watch yourself, Chris. So these have a different winch than we're used to, where our RPM is automatically regulated by the demand of the winch. This one has to be dialed in. So he's dialing that in, tightening everything up. Chris, I'll slack that line, see if you can get that chafe gear in there, all right? Okay, so now it's like 20 minutes later. See, we got a good headline here, just kind of looking down at it, showing that pinch in the stern. Those guys are taking in the uh, lines out off the dock. Got a little bit of wind blowing us off the dock, but uh, being that we have a partially loaded barge, that will help us, it won't hurt us, but uh, right now the key is, like I say, right over here we've got rocks. We can't see them, they're underwater, but we've been advised that we can't drive ahead or back. We gotta get way out into the channel. You can see the red and the green over there, so we gotta come out like this and go out that way. And then if you look back here, you'll see over here, we don't have a lot of wiggle room in the stern either. So uh, Luke is working, it looks like he's got one engine in gear. I offered that I would do this job if Luke wanted me to, and well, they say a winner always wants the ball. Security call. Kings Point taking in lines at Sun, Bridesburg, and we'll be bound for the Del Air Railroad Bridge and KMI Port Richmond. Kings Point. So we're making the security calls here. Are you calling the bridge? No. I'm good, just good, 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 good. Don't call the bridge till we get out there. Yeah. Right. I don't know where we are yet. Can't remember the name of this place. Came on. Security call, Tug. Tug Kings Point getting underway. Sun Bridesburg gonna be bound for the Del Air Railroad Bridge in KMI Port Richmond. Tug Kings Point. Security call. Tug Kings Point take getting underway. Sun Bridesburg going to be bound for the Del Air, Del Air Railroad Bridge and bound for KMI Port Richmond. Tug Kings Point. All right, Chris, take it in when you're ready. All right. So he's gone all stop. You can see the quick water has gone all stop there. Now we watch to see what happens because he's kind of got to make pull this out 
when you walk a barge it's hard to walk a barge that has product on it and it's even harder to walk it away from the barge you can walk towards the barge much better all right Chris you see those two rubber pads I was talking about Jesus Christ. Yeah, right I want to put the stern of the barge there you want me to get that Kings Point this is Tim Kings Point, this is Tim. He right, said, so I'm three feet wide. How far ahead do I have to come? You're, you're less than a foot wide and you're right on spot now. in an effort to move things along I've sped the video up about five and a half times but uh, you can see Luke is walking the barge off and uh, he gets it moving a little bit and then he's gonna put the stern the, these barges don't have a rake in the stern so he can put the stern up against the dock on a nice place and rotate against it to get some of that flood tide in between the land and the dock uh, in the barge you can see he's rotating right there does this very carefully so that he doesn't put too much pressure on the dock and the idea is that we want we don't want to you know we want to kind of stay in the length of the barge to get out into the channel so we don't get in the bad water ahead or behind the barge then once he gets out at an angle some of that flood tide will start grabbing the barge and pulling us right off the dock and it'll start coming ahead Looking good back here, Luke. Tons of room. Now we just take our time and be patient. Let's do it up. Yeah, exactly. Right now, the temptation you got to fight the temptation. You want to almost go all stop, just let the river do its work, you know? All right, Chris, I'm all good back there. We'll call it 1620 underway. Okay, I'll do that. Oh, there you go. King's Point. Yeah, I guess you guys are good. Say again? Could you say again? It looks like you guys are getting underway. Yeah, that's right. We're just getting underway right now. Down for uh, KMI Port Richmond. Okay, I'm going to be getting underway from Tioga. I'm going to be taking your spot. We'll see you on the way. All right, we'll see you on the way. Thank you. And a little shot of us outside here so you can have a better view of the beautiful river. This is the Delaware River if you're wondering what it is. And we're way up, all the way up in Philly, and uh, it's still a tidal area. So the this flood tide, you would think of the river would ebb the whole time, but on a flood tide it floods in and it floods out. So probably somewhat brackish, I imagine. Well, I wouldn't dare to taste it. <laughs> But coming underneath the Betsy Ross Bridge, and we've got the Del Air uh, Railroad Bridge is up, and he's going to receive us. You know, he's going to stay up for us. We're going to go through, and the other guy that's coming out is going to keep it up there for him, and the other guy coming out will be going underneath it on the same lift.
you know, looking at this, I think maybe what I'll do is I'll go back into editing and speed this up a little for you. So we're approaching our dock right now. You can see this white building up there with a yellow crane sticking straight up. So we're going to go on the face of that dock tonight, and then tomorrow we'll break down, remake up. Uh, we'll be heads and tails. Right now we're heads and heads with the barge. We'll make up on the other side and drive it into the slip that goes this way. But that won't be until tomorrow. They want us on the outside for tonight. Kind of a pain in the butt, but we don't get to make those choices. We just do what they tell us to do. Luke's bleeding off some speed. Making a good approach. That looks a lot floor. better than yes, I remember that, it is. Before, before, there used to be yeah. these pilings that stuck out, and it looks a lot better. That looks. I, you can still see the rubber pads. Yeah. I think that's gonna be fine. We might just have the guys walk the lines down. <laughs> Roll right around. All right, we're ten minutes ahead of schedule. I don't see any line handlers yet. Burlington Bristol Bridge, William T. Channel One Three. Hey, good afternoon. Uh, we're on our way up. We just passed the 18. Uh, should be there right around half an hour, maybe a little longer. see how if there was a flood tide that might be a little hairier getting into that slip. With an ebb tide in the air yeah, should be no problem at all. Ebb tide looks like you just roll right around. Exactly. Nice that, I, I, that, that is not how I remember it at all. It looks great.
where they show up. Yeah, Cap, uh, I'm here in the green truck. Oh, fantastic. Hey, uh, where do you guys want us? Uh, wherever, you know, you want to land on the face here. Wherever we can use the most bollards, because I just heard you guys aren't discharging here. All right, then looks like we'll, uh... All right, we'll just get it in there, all right, Chris? We'll see how it lines up. I'll put the bow somewhere near that yellow crane. Yeah, that looks like a good spot. These three thousands are nice with the windows being able to be open, aren't they? It is really nice. Uh, and the two bows just crossing that, that second forklift. Alright, just give me distances for now. Roger. I'm going to try to line this stern up with this uh, aftermost bollard on the dock, so wherever the bow lands, we'll adjust from there and, you know, lace her up. Okay, watch out for that. You see that uh, gangway up there, ahead of the crane, sticking out? Oh, God. And Chris, you see that gangway just forward of that crane there, kind of hanging out? That's not going to be in our way, is it? No. All right. Yeah, that uh, gangway will be fine. There's bollards that are X'd out that they just, that those don't matter. You can use them anyway. They're not <laughs> crossed out for any reason. Okay, thank you. Now, I'm sure you know this, but with these rubber pads that are up, going up and down here, the only thing we don't want to do is if we bang the, the bow over, you can bang the bow over, just don't drive ahead and rip one off, you know? Right, they yeah, don't want to get on the inside. Right, exactly. Luke is doing right now is he's pulling the bow over, getting it stopped, and allowing that flood tide to pull us over sideways. So you can see if you look at the mast on the barge, you can see that the bow is coming over all the time. Hey, bow's about 55 off. You've got it looks like it coming right there. over, so we'll we'll put it there. there. Yep, yep. yep. One thing that always gets me, if I get it too far, I just want to make sure I can recover it, you know? Right. Absolutely. Every good plan A has a good plan B, right? That's right. Yeah, I was pulling that bow right over. Land flat will be good. Right, 
And being that we're open wheel, you should be able to be able to push on us if you want to walk it over too. We do a lot better walking towards the barge and away from it. And like he doesn't want to use the cleat that's inside the gate because it's inside that fence because that gate's locked a lot of times. <laughs> what does that mean for me? <laughs> Don't use that cleat then. Are <laughs> uh, you turning off? Oh, she's coming in nicely. Beautiful. Looks got it just about flat right now. I'm still making lateral movement. Everything's looking really good. Philadelphia and Luke made it as always look easy thank you guys so much for watching if you like these videos and uh, we always appreciate a like and a thumbs up it really helps us get our videos out to other people and uh, if you want to uh, hook me and Luke up maybe you can hit this thanks button and maybe Luke and I will have a cocktail on you at, uh, at the airport <laughs> but uh Special thanks to the patrons. I'll put a link in the below if you want to join the patron team. Okay, you can slip it in. And as always, we're trying to uh, develop my uh, other channel. If you haven't seen uh, SV Paquita, please go over there and subscribe. The channel's doing a little bit better. I'm putting more content on there as we get ready to uh, get it, put her back in the water. Hopefully we'll see you over there too. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be safe and as always, I'll see you on the one.